Best Tech from the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in China The annual World Artificial Intelligence Conference was officially held this year in Shanghai, which focused heavily on how artificial intelligence can be integrated with the metaverse, as well as exploring the future possibilities of these technologies. Artificial intelligence is crucial in the metaverse because of the metaverse's need to adapt to changing environments and user preferences. Processing massive amounts of data in the metaverse will drive the expansion of artificial intelligence and push it towards edge computing, which will allow for more large-scale deployments of AI applications. Among the highlights of the technologies on display were GPUs, servers, large-scale machine learning models, autonomous cars, surgical robots, and other large-scale machines. The following are some of the highlights of this year's World Artificial Intelligence Conference event. Number 1. Baidu's Machine Learning Model One Sheen. Since 2018, artificial intelligence has entered the era of large-scale machine learning models. Building these large-scale machine learning models involves the integration of smaller and dispersed models in order to create them. The natural language processing model, called GPT-3, which was developed in 2020 by OpenAI, kicked off the AI large-scale model arms race and has been embraced by Google, Microsoft, and Meta, formerly Facebook, Alibaba, as well as other tech giants. Baidu's large-scale model, One Sheen, was developed to be used in a variety of general scenarios. It is combined with the capabilities and the Baidu knowledge graph to be used extensively in the aerospace, finance and energy sectors, as well as others. Baidu also makes use of the model to offer artificial intelligence painting services to its customers. Take the example of the creative platform Yeji, which can create paintings based on user inputs. The system can then label the outputs with the appropriate use cases. According to the official introduction, the application is currently in internal testing and will be available for payment soon. Baidu claims that its Yeji text to image painting model outperforms other AI painting products like Google's Imogen, having a stronger ability to generate images in different styles while also understanding Chinese semantics. Number 2. High Scene Industrial Air Glasses High Scene, one of China's most prominent industrial augmented reality companies, presented its H100 Air Glasses, its AR remote communication and collaboration platform Hylia, and its real-time AR spatial editor called PinNotes. High Scene users are mostly in factories and other manufacturing industries, allowing technicians to perform remote inspections and other tasks more accurately. Pin Notes allows users to add virtual content directly to physical objects via augmented reality glasses or cell phones. These virtual contents can then be saved to the AR platform and can later be viewed for re-editing. This will give users a sense of spatial interconnection, virtual real integration, and intelligent interaction. It is expected that the total addressable market of the metaverse economy will be between $8 to $10 trillion per annum by the year 2030, which will move artificial intelligence technology into a new frontier with the help of these resources. And this is only the beginning, as it is expected that over the following years, everything from the real world will be converted into a metaverse format for digital consumption, leading to an economy that could be even greater than that of the real world. Number 3. The BR100 GPU chip Byron Technology, a Chinese GPU chip unicorn, has revealed the BR100, its first general-purpose GPU series, at this year's World AI Conference. Byron Technology's original chip architecture is the basis of the BR100 and has 77 billion transistors and uses a 7-nanometer process. This product is also the first to use chiplet technology and PCI Express 5.0, as well as support CXL protocols in China. A representative of the company said that the BR100 would be a major rival to the NVIDIA H100 GPU, which will be affected due to a U.S. ban on exports to China of high-end GPU chips. Baron has yet to confirm when the new chip will enter mass production. This chip will be used primarily in data servers to provide computing power. Number 4. The Q-Truck Driverless Vehicle Westwell Technology, a global company based in Shanghai, uses artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicle tech to explore the possibilities of autonomous logistics. Q-Truck is the first battery swap, driverless commercial vehicle that can recharge fully in six minutes with no human intervention required. According to Westwell, that Q-Truck can carry 80 tons of cargo and has a range of 200 kilometers. The fleet system can manage multiple trucks simultaneously, 
and allows for mixed operation between manned and driverless vehicles through the integration of digital technology. Number 5. Ant Group's Privacy Computing Technology, Secret Flow, is now available. Many industries face new cybersecurity and security challenges as data becomes a vital resource in our society. Privacy-preserving computing, which involves many professional technology stacks, is important to balance data security with data circulation. Ant Group, a Chinese fintech company, officially released Secret Flow, its privacy-preserving computing framework, to global developers in July. Ant Group's World AI Conference staff said that Secret Flow, which has been in development for six years, is an integrated work of privacy-preserving computation technology and application. It incorporates more than a thousand patents and covers all major privacy computing technologies. Secret Flow has made a major breakthrough in trusted environment-based cryptographic computing, which can achieve modeling and analysis of 1 billion dense samples per hour. Number 6. China's First Semi-Invasive Brain-Computer Interface Device This artificial intelligence-powered brain-computer interface device was presented as serving a direct communication pathway with the brain for patients suffering from motor or sensory impairments. The brain-computer interface device weighs only 38 grams, measures 32 cubic centimeters, and can be used to treat Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and other neurological disorders. The BCI does not require semi-manual preparation like many medical devices, and it boasts a unique silk protein electro-wrapping technology which avoids blood vessels when being implanted in the cerebral cortex in order to minimize damage. This brain-computer interface technology will be used to allow patients with ALS, high paraplegia, and aphasia to talk with their minds via the device, as well as control external mechanical devices, despite the fact that they are physically unable to move. The researchers at the Shanghai Institute of Microsystem and Information Technology have made significant progress in the practical application of this cutting-edge technology, leading to the device being cleared for clinical trials for the treatment of major neurological diseases. Brain-computer interface technology is able to better protect the region of the brain that controls the movement of the hands and feet, as well as the command of cognition and language. Brain-computer interface technology is poised to reach a significant inflection point with its accelerating advancements. For instance, Synchron, a U.S.-based BCI company, has already enabled patients suffering from ALS to communicate with each other via social media, and another study in Nature Medical Journal showed that people can type with their minds at an accuracy rate of 99%. Furthermore, BlackRock Neurotech has already implanted 32 people around the world with brain-machine interface devices and started the first at-home trials for patients using their BCI devices. It is predicted that brain-machine interface technology will expand into other areas over the next 10 years, including education, healthcare, and gaming. It is also expected to be used as a tool to help children improve their concentration, reduce attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and even enable the upload of knowledge, emotion, memory, and experiences to blur the line between humans and computers.